Jen Weber from Mike Weber Greenhouses and today I'm going to give you some great tips to keep your plants looking as great as they did when you bought them from the store. One of the questions I get asked a lot about is plants being root bound. A lot of customers would bring this to me and say this plant looks root bound why should I buy this plant? If you have a root bound plant be thankful that it will be a healthy plant especially when they're nice white thick roots because that means your plant is already well established. So the more roots, the healthier the plant. If you were to take this pot off and you just saw a few roots here, that's a weak plant. That plant isn't going to grow very fast, very healthy. If you saw that, you would see a plant with pale leaves. It would be shorter. It would be weaker. The stem would not be thick, it would be thin, and it would be floppy. All you would do is pull these roots off, just like this, and you're not hurting the plant at all. This plant has a lot of green, healthy leaves. There's nothing wrong with the plant anywhere. There's no diseases to be found, no bugs to be found on any leaves. The roots are still white and healthy. It's not rotting anywhere. And when you pull off the pot, there's roots galore. Now roots are important because that is how the plant receives all of its energy. It soaks up the water, the nutrients, the nitrogen, which is how the plant makes new leaves. So, you do not want to take a knife and cut this all apart before planting. Just take it and put it in the ground, just like so. As many of us were told when we were little by our grandmas that we should put our thumb in the middle and pull the roots this way and that way, that it loosens the roots and that will make a healthier plant, what you're actually doing is damaging your plant. And on a plant like delphiniums that has a main tap root, the root system is very similar to that of a dandelion. So if it was, if this was your tap root, and then you had roots coming off of here, you've damaged the bottom, and then you've damaged all of these. So what will happen is that you broke all those side roots and you've just told the plant basically that it's going to die. In the case of a delphinium, in the case of a monk's hood, and in a, there are a couple others that will happen. I hope that you're able to use these tips at home and keep your garden looking great.